Looking for North America's deepest natural harbor? You won't find it in San Francisco, Seattle, or Vancouver. You have to keep traveling north, almost to the Alaska border. There you'll find this jewel of British Columbia's north coast, Prince Rupert. Traditional territory of the Simshian people, the region around Prince Rupert has had First Nations inhabitants for over 10,000 years. By the mid-1800s, trading posts were established in the area, and salmon canneries soon dotted the coastlines. The city of Prince Rupert began just over a century ago, with the dream of a new transcontinental railway to rival the Canadian Pacific. And the biggest dreamer of all was the city's founder, Charles Melville Hayes, Hayes was the driving force behind this new railway, called the Grand Trunk Pacific. He picked this site for a Pacific terminus, not only for its sheltered deep sea harbor, but also because it sits 800 kilometers closer to Asia than Vancouver does. He expected Prince Rupert actually to outgrow Vancouver. To carry out his vision, Hayes hired architect Francis Rattenbury, already famous for designing Victoria's Parliament buildings and the Empress Hotel. In 1908, town planners arrived from Boston to map out the city of Prince Rupert. That same year, Rattenbury's new hotel opened there, the Grand Trunk Pacific Inn, the largest wooden structure on the North Coast. Yet the plan was to replace it with a much grander hotel, the Chateau Prince Rupert. It was to be the largest in Western Canada, twice the size of the original Empress. In 1910, Prince Rupert was incorporated as a city, but only two years later, Charles Melville Hayes went down on the Titanic. Although work on the railway continued, it lacked Hayes' ambition and drive. World War I soon brought financial collapse to the Grand Trunk Pacific. It was later absorbed by the Canadian National Railway. And although the foundations for the Chateau Prince Rupert were begun, the hotel was never built. Modern Prince Rupert has yet to reach the scale that Hayes envisioned. But after some tough times, the outlook is again optimistic. With the opening of new cruise ship and container facilities, Prince Rupert is gaining continental importance as the Pacific Rim's newest gateway to North America. <laughs>